everybody. My name is Jason Scout. I'm here with Jacob Littleton and Cameron McKnight. We're here in Miss Head's fourth period class, and we're going to be looking at some of my art, and they're going to be asking me questions about it. So who's this character, and why did you pick them, Jay? This is Kaori Nagisa from Neon Genesis Evangelion, and I chose him because he's honestly one of my favorites, and I like his carefree attitude, and it fit with the pose really well. I like your coloring style a lot, but why did you choose uh, orange as your base layer? I chose orange as my base layer mainly because it looks a lot better with the colors like versus a white background because the white kind of like, you can't really see the color very well. <laughs> yeah, if you use a different background and you just blend in with the background. Yeah, he'd be pasty white. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how long did this piece take you? This piece took around six hours, and yeah, that's a very <laughs> that's long time. It's a long time <laughs> doodling away. Yeah, it's a, it's a very long process, but it's really worth it in the end. So what like app did you use to draw this? I used an app called Procreate. It's only for iOS, and it's ten dollars, but it's honestly <laughs> worth the ten dollars. You get you get everything you get like set up brushes and you get everything else and it's just it's really worth the ten dollars i would recommend investing in, in it if you are a digital artist seeing the time lapse so much detail and time that goes into it, it's kind of incredible oh, yeah. yeah a lot of a lot of blood sweat and tears <laughs> <laughs> why did you choose that bluish teal color Oh, I chose the blue color because gray is kind of boring sometimes, and I just think the blue like offsets and gives it a little bit more of a polish than a gray color. If you could redo this piece, uh, what would you change about it? Because for me, I, I do that a lot. Honestly, I would probably change a little bit of the proportions, like the hand hanging off where his legs are, could be a little bit smaller. It's kind of big, but so it's just undersize the hand. Yeah, just undersize the hand a little bit and maybe change up a little bit of the coloring. But other than yeah, that, I see what you mean right there. Yeah, it's, like it's a little bit dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paid for your life. How many layers did you end up putting on it? Uh, <laughs> it was. I see the adding layers. Yeah, it was probably around 20-something layers, but those are also clipping masks and um, a lot of other layers that I merged down just to like keep it all combined. Simple. Yeah, yeah simple and not like I have to go look at everything and everything else. Right. It's not terrible, though, 20 layers. Isn't it's, not that, it's not that bad. With the, the style that you do, it makes sense, though, with your layering over and over and over to get that blur paint effect. Yeah a lot of layering and I also use a smudge tool to get some of that yeah like right here I'm using the smudge tool to grain it out a little bit right so did you say you use the smudge tool the most in this or uh rather than just other than just like drawing it yeah other than just like messing with it around I use the smudge tool to get that grainy effect and I used kind of like a paint brush to get that effect all right so my real question is uh do you prefer a digital or traditional art I, I like both equally, but if I were like to have to choose something that I would do for my whole life, I would probably go with digital, mainly because I can backspace. <laughs> so rather than just having yeah. Like it oh, yeah. physically in your hands, you'd rather just have to right. click a few buttons and yeah. go back rather than, there's definitely... oh, I have to restart it now <laughs> yeah, after different. you make a mistake. Yeah, I would have to... Um, just start it all over or erase it and then you can see the mistake if I go deep enough with the pencil but um, digital art is based it, it looks cleaner That's true. and it like you can get a lot of colors down besides like if you have a marker and you leave for like five seconds you have to come back and yeah. like do it all again <laughs> so what would you say the shading process for you is like like what do you go by step by step um so I layer your, I layer my flat colors out, 
And then what I do after that is I go in a clipping mask and I line out where I want it to be shaded, keeping in mind the direction of where the sun is coming from or the light. And I shade from there. And then after that, I like get the smudge tool and I brush it out and smudge it together. And then after that, I add more and more and more and more until I think it looks wonderful. <laughs> Uh, well, looking at it now, the finished product is really great. I think you did an awesome job on it. Yes. Thank you. All right. Well, um, thank you for talking with me about my lovely art. And I'm very happy that both of you like it. Um, so, yeah, this is the first episode of the Art Corner. And I can't wait to have more and more people come over and talk with them about art. This is Jay Sisko, and I will see you later.